Were you ever concerned about commercial success, though? That does does not matter at all. No, you man. You also expressed some concern over the losing subscribers. Nah, I'm more so like um, I'm saying like my my people are my people, and it's you know it's the that's what matters to me. Like I don't really have. I don't really attract like hangers on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so whoever's with me, that's my real, you know what I'm saying? Like, and whereas some people might try to convince you they got 3 million followers, mm -hmm. I'm cool with 30,000, like it's great. Like actually high quality, high powered niggas that think real sharp and invest real heavy. So it's like, you know, for you to try to take away my real 30,000 yeah. and you let these niggas keep their fake 3 million, you know, I don't got to go too deep, but it's just like, it seems like a slap in the face or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I worked hard for my, I think I had that um, that YouTube for 10 years, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's like, all right, cool. But what was ill was like, let me tell you something. That shit made niggas mad or whatever, especially the Spotify shit. So they ran over the uh, Apple. Yep. And downloaded that shit. And then I was um number one. Uh, I, I was chart. I charted that my album was number one that week when it came out on Apple Music and shit. So I was like, you know, and that, I wasn't even aiming for no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, you know, niggas like, you know, obviously the the labels was like, yo, what's this? We didn't plan this. Who's this? Right. So you know, couple dollars, couple fazos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? But my shit was real, fam. Like, you can't never fuck with that, So though. how does that work with the the uh, distribution and shit? What's that? The, the albums. Like, so you make an album. I don't yeah. know nothing about the music shit. Oh, it's cool. Go ahead. So you make the album, and then you, like, through whatever channels your own, upload and distribute, and then yeah. they, at that point, they just take it and connect it to your fans, or how does that work? No, I mean, so, you know, you know how it is. You got... The label, which is me, you know what I'm saying? So all my shit's self-released. Like 99.99% of my shit is self-released. Then you got the distributor who helps you get it to the DSP, which is the digital service provider. Mm -hmm. So that's like your Audio Max, your Apple Music, your Spotify's, that type of shit. Your YouTubes, your uh, Shazams or whatever the fuck, right? So then you got that, and then those guys, you know, they got departments in there that are responsible for making sure that, you know, you your music connects with the right people. And if you don't have any favor with those people, your shit just floats, you know what I'm saying, on an endless fucking stream, you know, um, immeasurable fucking odds that you face and everything. And then, um, so they definitely don't expect you to have niggas come over and fucking download the shit like fuck this shit this nigga mock is not gonna take this away from me you know because niggas thought it was me yeah you know what i'm saying niggas was like oh this fucking asshole like you know he fucking took it off he's fucked up you know what i'm saying that was a lot of the comments you know what i mean well, I but it wasn't lot. me so too you drop so much music that you don't even let us know and i'm a fan but it's a thing i got a distributor so it's like even if i want to take something down it'll take me like 20, 48 hours or some shit, you know what I'm saying, for that shit to actually talk to the distributor and them talk to the DSPs and them. So it's like, you know, who could work that lightning quick, you know what I mean? It's not me. Like, I don't know the owner of YouTube and shit like that. So, you know, somebody felt like they needed to yank that shit down, you they feel me? They give you a reason or nothing. I mean, the reason was um, we can't find it. Like, literally from, like, I mean, I escalated the ticket, bro, as far as the nigga, yo, black man, Thank you. Yeah. I did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I told, him, I told my people push and told them push some more. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we finally end up getting on the phone with some folks over at YouTube Music and one of the dudes, he, uh, this shit was so surreal. Like, the nigga put on a, a flag went around his face and did the fucking Buckeyes to me, the Popeyes. The nigga did the fucking... W B, oh, wow. <laughs> like dead ass, like I, it's on soft fucking shoot, little dance, bro. He did the shit, bro. I couldn't believe it. So at that point, I was like, all right, so I ain't finna get nothing back. You feel what I'm saying? And I just knew what time it was over there. I see how y'all get down. You feel me? So it was just like, well, all right. I had to, I actually walked out of me, and I just got up and just walked away. I was like, That's thank true. you very much for hearing me out, and you know what I'm saying. Thank you. What was the thought process? All right.
What was the thought process as far as like doing physical copies when anybody was going fully digital? Oh. That's crazy. Physical copies than actually selling them for a large like amount. Like CDs. Yo, shit, man. So I'm fucking up. My bad. Nah, that's so, good. so, so the way it was was like, I don't know. I just was like, man, I gotta dig deeper, man, because whatever the fuck's going on, like Bandcamp started blocking my shit because they was like automatically refunding people they purchase money and telling them like you know please you know uh this is just you know we're taking an extra measure to make sure that you know you really actually meant to buy this because this seems a little bit suspicious okay, you know easy. please let us know if you really want it you know because i was selling shit for like the most band cam had it was like they you know you had to stop at like a thousand mm -hmm. 999 so you know me i'm into numerology and so you know supreme mathematics so you know my shit was like 999 that was when i was selling um uh, the Gap, you know what I mean? I was selling physicals on Bandcamp. And so after like nine, ten different people, because niggas was sending me screenshots like, yo, this is fucked up, God. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people, I don't even know these people. You feel me? I might have met them a year before when they started buying my shit on Bandcamp. But now it's like they feel like they feel like they know me. Yeah. And they feel like they feel like, damn, they feel like, yo, niggas are straight up telling me like, yo, Bandcamp is trying to fuck you over. Whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you sell me that shit direct? I just send it to your PayPal. Mm -hmm. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And so, and then when I reached out to um, Bandcamp, they really didn't have no answer for me. Um, you know, it was more so like, well, this, this is a new, um, you know, safeguard that we put in place in order to combat, you know, uh, fraud, credit card fraud and all that stuff. But it was like, um, I never heard of anybody else having that problem before. You feel what I'm saying? And um, after they did like 10 or 11, I was like, man, I'm I'm being lazy, son. I gotta just make my own store. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So I gotta make. Direct yeah, that was like. Yeah, I gotta make my like www.mockhami.com and right. then www.zotanica.com and mm -hmm. you feel me? And um, I was like, yo, man, I gotta do it. You know, I didn't want to do it because it was like hard, like cottage right. industry in the garage assembling boxes. You know, I'm buying pallets of boxes, mm -hmm. and I ain't never do no shit like that before. Mm -hmm. So I, I just spazzed the fuck out. I'm like, all right, let me get my own vinyl. Let me get my own this, own that. But they forced my hand, though. I would have just been lazy. I would have just been on band camp. Uh, you got to put that shit on DVD real quick. Stop selling these episodes. Direct to Mac so, DVDs. Direct to yeah, for real. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Um, Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please like, comment, and subscribe. For more content, click over here. And most importantly, sign up for our Patreon. We need the money. Reg, stop lying. <laughs>